Right, today we're going to talk about soldering, um, and this is some of the equipment you need uh, to solder the uh, tabbing wire onto solar cell, for example, this polycrystalline 3x6 here. So what we have here is a flux pen. This one is from Electrolube. And very importantly, we have here the soldering iron. This is an Antex 80 watt iron. Um, you need to have an iron with a reasonable wattage because you're going to be putting down a lot of uh, heat in order to actually get the tabbing wire to join properly to the solar cell. Another thing I have here is just a piece of porcelain, which is blank polish. It's really, really fine. Even stuff that's come on here from previous uh, soldering comes off quite nicely. So, let's try and put this together. So I'll take one of these cells here, and i get this flex pen, and I'll just give it a good rinse down with the flux pen. And then I take a piece of tabbing wire. I just use this knife here just to make sure that I've got a reasonable nice position for my oh one more thing I forget here. There's one more thing I want to do. This is a soldering iron of course and it's just been heated up and it's completely clean so I just want to get just a little bit of solder on to it. This helps the transmission of um, heat from the iron to the wire. Uh, there we go. And make sure I've got this melted. So work here. Is it melting? Yep, yeah, that's good. Just get it joined for a little point and then basically run it backwards like this, guiding it with your thumb. And that's it. So now we have a reasonably strong joint, yeah? I think we can agree that should be satisfactory. So Try on the back side. The only places that really stick here in the back side are these little joiny thingy here. So give them a little scrape. You can get the tabbing wire into the right position. I use one of these knives because I've got a very small point at the end of that, which is nice for making sure that. Um, I don't have too much going on. So, get it melted. That's it. Let's touch that. Now you can see that's made just a little bulge there. We can just straighten that out now. Moving forward. And. There we go. Have a decent joint on both sides. Yeah? I'm just gonna try and do this with one of our monocrystalline cells. This is slightly more broken, but didn't see any point in taking a completely nice cell for this experiment. So again, a piece of tabbing wire. And then 
Get that nice joint. Follow on. Across. You can really see how that melts quite nicely across there. It gets ready to go. Right, that's one side. That's not quite there yet, but let's just help it along a little bit more then. Almost. There we go. So you can see it can be a little bit tricky, but you sort of you do get into a rhythm of of getting this flowing quite consistently once you've done a few of them. So same thing here for the back side. The importance really I think is a lot to do with the soldering iron because the smaller irons don't really keep the temperature very well because the tip is too small whereas this you can see it's got quite a big tip and you can almost tell by when you're using the iron that um, when you're running a continuous piece of tabbing wire it's permanently on, permanently trying to keep the tip hot this is putting a lot of energy into the solar cell, even through into the porcelain. Uh, not sure the joint now. And I'll just follow this on here and get this joint onto here. There we go. So that's pretty much how you do it. I have some people write to us from time to time, so I thought it'd be good to put this little video together. Happy soldering. <laughs>